Hey everybody, welcome on back to part two of my Resident Evil 3 Nemesis walkthrough. So we're going to go ahead and walk through this door and uh, go ahead and start the next scene with uh, with this guy and Nikolai. Uh, I know I've been pondering on going back and getting that shotgun now that I got the bolt cutters, but I'm going to continue on, you know, just trying to save some time. Can you be see us? Yeah, careful, careful. Come on, don't look at me like that, all right? I'm not an okay, No, 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 wait, please! No. What the fuck? He was infected. He might have been infected. We're all stars this soft. No wonder so many of you dead. And what are you, UBCS, killing your own people? He would have turned. There's your sense of self-preservation. Go back to the subway station. We don't need a bleeding heart like you getting in the way. Hmm. Oh, Nikolai's still a jerk as ever. I'll just grab that and grab this journal here. Just pause if you want to read it. We're just going to keep on going. And swing it right here. We're going to pick up a box of bullets and a suicide note. That should be it. And there's another note here we need to pick up. And this is talking about the generators that scattered throughout Raccoon City. <laughs> Giving you a little hint, uh, if you see one, shoot it to your free advantage. In fact, we already ran across one in the previous video. And we're going to run into another one right up here, where you see those sparks flying. We're going to head that way, and we're going to see two dogs. They're going to be running towards us. And uh, normally I would have the shotgun to take them out, because they're, they're really hard to hit with a handgun, so... To help us out, we're going to wait till they're both within the proximity, shoot this generator, it will stun them, and then that's when you want to take them out. Just wait for it. Well, a little shaky, but... <laughs> Good thing he got hung up on that pallet. Alright, he's down. And he's down. It's always good to double check. Sometimes it just stuns him. And, um... Uh, just ignore these zombies. Uh, unless you really got bullets to waste. They're not going to get to you. They're not going to hurt you. And in fact, they're actually really weak. Even if it didn't do that critical shot, one shot would have still killed him. I'll just continue on. And there should be a crate right behind this car. Okay. And behind this door, there are three zombies that we need to take out or avoid altogether. And I think we got enough ammo. We can just go ahead and take them out because. We're going to be going through here again, and I kind of want to clear up the area, so. Oh, sweet. Headshots are always good. I'm going to try to... <laughs> Just like playing Ring Around a Rosie with these guys. Oh. 
Sweet. That's what you want, some exploding headshots. That's even better. Okay, can't do nothing with that, so... Grab you this red herb right here. I don't know if you can. Hmm. I may just leave that there for a second. We're gonna grab his hip pouch. Okay, I'm just gonna swing back and get it. document here for you just telling you about the breakers I think that's yeah everything in that room oh. Oh. smells like oh I don't even want to think about it okay Just a little hint that uh, some enemies will be facing in a little bit. Uh, when you get some parasitic infection, this will cure it. So, we're going to head up here. There's a box we need to grab. What you need to do is open this box. So we're going to examine it. Move it over here a little. And we got our lock picks. And there's another box here you want to grab. And now we have both the lock pick and the uh, bolt cutters. We are going to backtrack because uh, if we were to continue on and uh, complete this part, Nemesis will spawn uh, on our way back. And you don't want to have him there while you're trying to run around pick up all these extra items you missed. If you're trying to do a speed run, then this is not what you want to do. But if you want to, if you don't mind spending a little extra time and playing it safe, this is definitely how you want to do it. Let's see. I just. Want to make sure, because, uh, you know, we're still going to pick up a thing or two while we're heading out towards that way. I know Jill's hurt, but I'm not going to heal her until uh, she's in danger. It just makes things a lot more efficient for healing. Because if you heal every time you go to caution, you're going to run out of healing items before you know it. So you just kind of... You know, play it by ear, and if you think you can take another hit, risk it. Just you just gotta know your instant death kills. Oh, sweet, more handgun ammo. And that's it for this area. Again, ignore these zombies here. They're not going to get you. Go ahead and unlock this. Should be a, uh, a first aid spray. I'm going to drop it off here. I think that's it for this whole area. And, um... Hmm... 
the you remember the fancy box from the last video the other two is here one's in that store one's in this toy store so we're gonna go ahead and get them Not what the heck I'm thinking. Should be a first aid spray and a large gunpowder here too. So be sure to grab them. Okay. And uh... He's probably going to pop out that door when we start walking towards the toy store, but if we do, we'll deal with him. And, uh, if you got bullets to spare, shoot them. If not, if you want to save some ammo, don't mind spending a little extra time. Just whip your knife out and just get right behind him and just start knifing his ass. Literally. <laughs> He's going to take quite a few stabs. And he can't get up because his leg's busted. Okay. I don't... Let me just double check. Alright. He's down. Go ahead and unlock this. And here's another fancy box here that's going to contain your last gem. And don't forget to pick this document here too. It's going to tell you about the Charlie dolls. You're not going to see any in this playthrough because, unfortunately, I've already got them, so... Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to help you with that with this one. So, uh, we'll go ahead and head back, do a little backtracking because there's a couple of really important items we need to get. So, to make things a little easier, we're going to take them out here. Maybe we'll get a, a critical headshot for Lucky. Get behind him if you Oh you're not supposed to do that, man. Okay. Chances are the other guy's getting up, so Let's see we can... We'll take care of those guys in a little bit. Let's just go ahead and take care of this part. Maybe we can uh, lure them out. They'll be gone when we uh, come back here next time. So, uh, uh, let me go here, here. We need to grab that red jewel. And really don't matter which order you use them in, because you're going to get them all in the same order. First you get a grenade. The next one is going to be a shotgun stock. I know we don't have a shotgun yet, but we'll be able to use that upgrade in just a few minutes here. And last but certain and certainly not least, we're gonna get the uh, the hip pouch. And don't forget to go over here and pick this lock. 
I think it's more shotgun shells, I believe. Okay. I think that's everything in here. I wonder if there's anything else we need. Uh, I might keep those for now. Okay, I think we'll make some more ammo. Oh, what the heck? Okay, we'll make a box of shotgun shells. And a box of bullets. So we're pretty good shape for ammo. And uh, remember, we got three zombies here left alive, so watch out for them. I might just go ahead and take them out. Ah. Well, you know what? We'll just go ahead and... Oh, ah. Ah. Well. I'm just afraid uh, when I go fight the other two zombies, this guy's going to sneak up behind me and bite me. Alright. See, he's already on his way here to get me. And the other one might be around the corner. And look at that, he is. So, just get a safe distance and just take him out. We got ourselves a little dodger here. It's safe to assume he's dead, so we shall carry on. Okay, there was a box of bullets that we need to pick up. I forgot about it. It's right here in this police car. Got plenty of bullets. Plenty. Maybe I'll probably go and take... Sells quite a sprinter here. Gonna knife these guys. Try to get behind them if you can. Okay, just making sure the fat guy here didn't sneak up behind me. He's down for good, and uh, now we got these guys taken out. There's a little bit of gunpowder that I missed. We're gonna go and grab it. Let's see here. We already, we're going to get this lock picked over here. <laughs> Should be a first aid spray, or sorry, hand grenade. Let's go ahead and reload. I may just go and drop a couple items off. Uh, so we got a majority of this area cleared. I know uh, it's showing this as red, but I'm pretty sure that's gunpowder we left behind. I honestly, I'm not gonna worry about it. I mean, it's just fighting two zombies there for a thing of gunpowder. To me, it's really not that worth it. Oh. oh, excuse me. 
We'll use these. And, uh, I can't remember if this guy, like, turn, you know, act, reanimates or not. Just go ahead and walk through the fence. He can't get you. I mean, this is just if you want to cheese him. See, he's not going to go anywhere. And just go ahead and knife him a little and make sure he's down. And uh, there's three more zombies we're going to get. Uh, let's go ahead and kind of lure him here. We'll get him close to that barrel. We'll shoot the barrel. We'll take them all out. Two. Hopefully I got that third one. Ah, sweet. We got him. And I think Charlie would have been here or here. If not, that certainly would be a good place. Some more shotgun shells to grab. And don't forget the grenade over here. As a rule of thumb, uh, I like to save the grenades for Nemesis. Or really large enemies. Because uh, when you're fighting Nemesis, uh, it's a really good get out of jail free card. Because one grenade is enough to, to stun them. So, we're going to go ahead and grab the shotgun. And, don't forget this lockpick here. We're at 21 minutes, okay, not too bad. Well, sorry, what the heck I'm thinking. <laughs> Okay, now for the shotgun and that other uh, lock we're going to pick. And, uh, let's see if I can grab this first safe spray. And once we cut these chains, that should be the last time we're going to need these bolt cutters. So just discard them. Plenty of shotgun shells, so and there's gonna be a zombie that's gonna come up. Uh, this zombie is triggered when you pick up the shotgun. Okay, not sure what the heck happened there. It looked like some sort of video lag. So you can take him out with a handgun, or if you don't try out your new shotgun, you can do that. Just wait till he's close enough and shooting ahead. I don't know if it got him completely because it kind of hit him. It didn't hit him square in the head, so it looks like it did got him. Do we uh, go ahead and combine this so we can free up even more spaces? Okay. Well, besides that one little area, I'm pretty sure that's gunpowder, so I'm not going to worry about it. So we're now going to head towards the power station. Okay, well, uh, well, we'll do a little item management when we get there.
Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of. I think we'll be okay with this. Okay. Might just do that because we're gonna pick up some items here. Or better yet, I'm gonna try to pick up all the herbs that's in there, but we'll see. Um, because we're about to come to a little area where I gotta say, out of this whole game, this is actually my least favorite. Sometimes I can go right through there without a single scratch, and there are times where every single one of them just hit me like four or five times. Because these these things are these bug creatures that we'll be facing in just a little bit, they're a bit hard to predict, and they're moving fast and all that. But that's why I like to use a shotgun. It's they're extremely weak, but they can be hard to hit. So I wouldn't use a handgun on these things. Just one shotgun blast, and that should be enough to take them out. So, let's go ahead and do it. And the second I push through there, we're going to get attacked and poisoned. If you got heals to spare, which I really hope you do, I'm just going to go ahead and use this. That will cure the parasitic infection. One down. Go and reload here. Don't know if there'll be another one around the corner, but we'll get them. Ow. Okay. Come on. Go on, go on, make a left here. If he's here, take him out. I think there's one following me. Ooh. Okay. Oh, come on. Alright, well, that's okay. We got one left. We're doing much better this time. Time to get the hell out of here. Oh, you can say that again, Jill. I am with you 100%. I hate this part. And... I kind of overlooked it, so don't forget to pick this note here up. That's just talking about the lockpick in case uh, okay. you couldn't find it. All that leaves is the main power switch. Yep, that's right. All right, Jill, do your thing. Enjoy.
Carlos, it's oh. Jill. I've restored power to the subway. Nice going. Next up is the traffic control system. It should be in the subway company's offices. Right. I think I know the building. Really? Way to go, partner. One step ahead. Not your partner. Uh, before we face Nemesis, uh, gonna do a little quick item management. I don't think we're gonna need lockpicks at this point, so we're gonna put that away for now. And gonna get some grenades. Probably an extra healing item, just in case. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and square off against Nemesis. Because now that we uh, turn on the power, he is going to show up. Right when I start going around that corner, he's going to bust through that wall. And he's going to run towards me, so I'm going to throw a grenade and knock him out. Grab the box. Wow. He just about one punched me. <laughs> and uh, right around this corner, there's a couple of zombies. Just ignore them and just keep going. Swing a left, right, right. Then a the left. Go ahead and open this. This is your weapon upgrade for your, your Glock 17. Or, excuse me, G19. Okay. And he's going to reappear again. Uh, maybe I can... Okay, when we walk up there, Nemesis is probably going to spawn right behind that guy. So we're going to run that way and try to avoid him all possible. Oh! Okay, as long as we're quick enough, he won't get us. Just try to plow your way through these guys. Okay, back again. Man, can't believe he hit me right. That sucker hits hard, don't he? Carlos, I'm in the control room. Now what? Nice. Now you gotta plot out a room. Okay, give me a sec. Okay, just refer to the map right there in the back wall. We start at RE1, we're doing FA2, RA3, SA2. FA, RA, SA. All right, where are we headed? The train is stopped at Redstone Street. We need to reach Fox Park Station. SA. Can you program that in. 
And two, Thanks. three, two. Consider it done. Valid route confirmed. Carlos, it's me. I finished him putting the subway route. Chill, you are amazing. Tough as nails, too. Hurry back to the station. We'll make sure the subway's ready to depart. Okay. And uh, when we go through here, you remember that zombie from the first video? He's going to wake up as one of those parasite heads. And we're going to try to avoid him. Okay. Don't stop. Keep going. Man, I can't believe he can reach that far. Just take this guy out. Shoot the legs if you have to. You're not coming here again, so don't worry about it. We're going to make a stop before we uh, go there. I want to top off my health. Gets plenty of shotgun shells. Okay. And probably one more grenade to be safe. And in case something happens, we'll just save. I don't care too much about uh, saving or the number of saves because, uh. The heck? Okay. So, uh. He's gonna be right there and he's gonna about pretty much run right at you. So just throw the grenade at your feet. And just shoot anything that gets in your way. If it's a zombie, I just shoot at legs. Just keep going, don't worry about them. Ignore that zombie, but another one's coming up. Ah, you didn't get me. I know what I said, but... Okay. Let's go and open up this Nemesis case. Should be a suppressor for our Glock 19. Sorry. We're going to combine with this. Let's see, anything else we can use? I think we'll be alright. Hmm. Not sure what happened there. Okay. I'll probably just use a grenade on him as nice soon job, as I can. Super cop. I'm impressed. We back in business? Yeah, mostly. But we need 30 to 40 minutes to finish maintenance. Nikolai, how are we doing? The town's crawling with those freaks. No chance of fighting our way out of the city. Why is she here? She's helping get the trains running again. Bad time to start getting dead weight for it. She's unreliable. Can't pull the trigger when it counts. Hey, take it easy. She'll get you killed. Sorry about that. Everyone's a little worked up. Oh, come on. Not again. Try to pick this up if you can. Come on, you creepy ass stalker. You want stars? And uh you... we're gonna try to shoot this generator to stun him.
don't think that stopped him, but let's go ahead and start kicking his door down. Might have enough time. We got it. Okay, looks like we're right about 45 minutes, so... Carlos, do you copy? Carlos! Oh, shit. Oh, I need to find another way out. Okay, I think this is where we're gonna stop off for this video. A map of the area. Perfect. Let's go ahead and pick up everything here. And I'll put this away because for this next part, I know we're not going to need it. And we'll go ahead and save here. See what we get here. So that's going to be it for part two for my Resident Evil 3 walkthrough. And as always, uh, be sure to like and subscribe my uh, video and channel. And thank you for watching.